on July 14th, 2020, which is a Friday, I did something. See, I don't have a means by which to acquire income for myself to file my own filings and pay for the legal fees. If we were in an actual constitutional system, rather than there being an ultra government right now that is using the cover of the State Department's authority to cover up for actual sedition and other high crimes, then I would have had the backing, if not actually been a district attorney or maybe an attorney general, so that I could file charges and prosecute these crimes. But we're in a another kind of system here so I do what I can and on July 14th which is a Friday Friday morning I was up very early and I was doing some research and at some point I did what I understood would have been the filing I would have submitted that Friday this was a date that had a very important benchmark in consideration of the cases that I've been working on and I would have filed this specific case with the specific citations I would have written it out um, in a specific manner and I did it real time right now I'm looking at my email and it may have the same time stampings but it's dated for July 17th 2020 somebody has altered my email they do this they take my email and they alter my email in order to create rationales for other people that hack me all right uh, as far as I, I know as far as I can see it's pretty much what I did with the email right um, and um, so, you know, insofar as that's the case, um, this is actually my email. Um, and these are actually what I would have submitted, including uh, the legal codes and the um, challenges that would have been criminal charges. But here's the situation, is that I did not know who this uh, Mr. Navalny was previously, but a while ago, I found an article that was just what I was looking for, and it was from a source I had never personally heard of before. It was called uh, Medusa. And I remember looking at it, and I was thinking, oh, that look, sounds like Medusa, right? Except it's got a D, but it's from Russian. So I don't know what Medusa means in Russian. Um, but I looked at the site, and so I made an indicator. I sent myself an email with the article, and that article is dated for the 16th of uh august very late what would have been 10 01 a.m on august 17th in russia and the article was specifically about uh how members of the legislature in russia had implemented changes to the um electronics sector that there was a specific law that had been passed in Russia concerning um, technology, cell phone technology specifically. And this is something I had encountered at least as far back as the fall, that Russia was implementing these changes to its cell phone technology. And I didn't know exactly what it meant. I thought it was being implemented at the time. Um, and I believe that it is very important right now in a lot of considerations. But my concern is that somebody strategically altered the information in my email that would have been what I would have presented as a criminal filing in consideration of what I've been trying to get charges uh, 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 moved forward on, um, specifically concerning illegal derivatives and their connection with um, <coughs> pension fraud and other kinds of uh, predicate crimes to the RICO conspiracy that I'm trying to um, get someone to acknowledge and prosecute, uh, especially in consideration of it potentially being uh, considered a criminal drug enterprise responsible for significant crimes up to and including acts of domestic terrorism and or at this point now international terrorism. But I, I did this on Friday. I did this on the Friday before. It's in my email right now saying that it was done the day after. I found that article from this site and with all of the other information I have found in my email what I believe is I found evidence last Friday I found evidence last Friday that what's going on with Navalny has been a long time in the making and I posted on my LinkedIn uh, some of the stuff I didn't post a lot of the evidence got to keep the evidence somewhere else right but I made public notices identifying uh, benchmarks and allowing for there to be a demonstration
that real-time intervention and action by uh, responsible parties could have forestalled uh, the proliferation of other events. This is part of what I've been doing for uh, over a year in one way or another, right? Ever since, or, uh, since I started my blogs. I'm just letting you know right now there is an effort to do something that's already happened. There was a legal filing in my case that was actually initiated the Friday before the Supreme Court released a number of filings uh, or a number of opinions. And over the weekend, there was a very significant transaction process in connection with those specific opinions, one in particular. And I was witness to what it was. And it has now panned out, right? On my uh, website and on my uh, blog, I have both audio files as well as video files of what would have been my response to the primary case that was being um, discussed. But there was another opinion that was released that day that I've not provided a uh, public uh, announcement on, but I did do a email digest to myself um, that was what would have been my response to that opinion and somebody stole it over the weekend again another person stole it over the weekend the weekend of the 14th no july 4th the weekend of july 4th they stole that so i had to rewrite it the, to the best of my memory which is slightly different than what it was to begin with right the, the first time around it was a slightly different kind of uh ombre. But the point of the matter is somebody's been hacking my emails and it's not just, it's like stealing my emails. And um, when they do that, what they do is they interfere with evidence. They, it's just, I keep the emails I do the way I do because I'm keeping track of benchmarks. Somebody seems to think that they're entitled to back in to access my emails and my life and then reconfigure the timelines and use it as benchmarks for whatever they're doing while nobody gets back to me. And I'm letting you know right now that whatever else is going on, and I know, you know, part of this is I'm supposed to suspect him, right? He's one of a number of people that have emerged in the last 10 years internationally that have uh, similarities to aspects of my identity I used to have when I was a newspaper editor and I was a journalist. And that entire legacy has been disappeared. You can, I cannot get access to any of my original articles. I cannot get access to even the places on site where the publications are. It's always convenient that they just can't get back to me, no matter who I contact. And I know I have my understanding of why, you know, especially why now this is coming up. Um, but I'm not going to be like that right now. I am acknowledging somebody literally got in my email and moved what would have been what I would have filed as a case attempting to prosecute pension fraud on uh, July 14th of 2020 to reflect in my email right now that it's July 17th of 2020. Why? Why? Is it because the timeline around when I found that article from that site was in some way used as an activation or an effort to weaponize what ended up turning into a uh, chemical or biological attack upon uh, this person who is connected to the publication? I don't know. That's very serious, right? That's very uh, significant. My anticipation is that these uh, timelines actually got changed since Sunday, that they've gotten changed in the last 48 hours. I think what it was, it was an attempt to try to mess up the timeline based on the fact that in my email is evidence that there was a process that allowed for a metric calibration that led me to identify other evidence. So if you're out there, you actually get my uh, videos or you actually get this information and are coordinating with whatever you're doing, um, you might want to take that into account. The uh, Supreme Court opinions of concern were on April 24th of 2020. Um, so whoever or whatever this is is trying to calibrate around those benchmarks. Was it 2000? The, the, yes, the opinion was submitted the, the, on the 24th. It didn't register until the 27th. And on the tw they submitted it on the 24th. I did not receive it in my email until the 27th. And this is something similar. I sent this to myself, um, understanding that it's, uh, I believe somebody's actually 
spying on me and I don't know exactly who, but whoever it is, they absolutely have the capacity to impact events at places like the Department of Justice and in other areas because I'm following it, I'm tracking it. They aren't acknowledging what I'm doing, but somehow they end up using it for all these other deals, both in the private sector and what is alleged to be law enforcement. So there is a, a coordination between what they uh, did with that response to my legal filing, which was completely, completely uh, without any actual legitimacy as a actual uh, uh, engagement of the judicial branch, um, but was for benchmarking as part of activation of whatever else they're doing through these derivative processes. And they've done something similar now. So, you know, 